Twitter etiquette, lecture by Professor Seeger. When you communicate with either me or the uh, instructor in private, you get a private answer. What does that do for everyone else in the class? Nothing. Nothing. When you communicate in public, and this is why we use Twitter, and we'll, use, we'll go over the communication protocol in the class uh, two days from now, or sorry, uh, the next class period on Tuesday. Um, when you communicate on Twitter, tag a teaching assistant. It's metaphorically the same thing. When you put a question out on Twitter, and you tag me, or you tag Alex, or you tag Trevor, or you tag Cody, it's like raising your hand in class. Twitter is a mechanism of class participation. Everyone can hear your question, and by hear I mean read, on Twitter. And when we respond, everyone gets the benefit of the same response. Does this make sense? Okay, people are habituated, students are habituated already, to email me with their questions. And I have yet to, uh, to go super uh, WDSS, WDTSS, uh, on the class. Because a lot of the questions are in the syllabus, but we haven't finished the read the syllabus assignment. Instead, I've been encouraging the people who are emailing me to go on Twitter, tag me, ask their question there, so that me or one of the other instructional uh, members of the instructional staff can answer it and the rest of the class can get the benefit. Does this make sense? Now, how do you hashtag it? C-E-E-300. Yeah, if you don't put hashtag CEE300, you don't get an experience point for the tweet, and one of our uh, Zodiac uh, groups that tell us how experience point works. And it's more difficult for everybody else to find it because the, their tweet role might have a lot of CE 300 stuff, but it'll also have other stuff in it from the rest of their lives. So hashtag uh, your question. So there's, um, it's not so much Twitter etiquette as it is CE 300 etiquette. When you have a private issue, and there are a lot of private issues, but something like how many tweets are we supposed to create for each video? Not a private issue. When you have a private issue, that's when you may direct message me, you may direct message someone uh, on the instructional staff, and I'm on my phone almost 24 hours a day. So this direct message conduit, when I'm following you, I give you permission to put text messages right into my butt where my phone is, you know, so that you have this connection directly to me, and I will respond. But, but you use that when it's confidential and it's urgent. Does this make sense? Other than that, just put it on there on Twitter where everybody can see it and someone else uh, will get to it. So we've covered uh, some of this. Now I want to add to that, uh, what's your recommendation? In exams, when I administer a final exam, most of the students tell me that they'd rather have multiple choice than essay questions. Is this your experience? I'm not getting a lot of affirmation. Uh, in your midterm, would you rather have multiple choice or essay questions? Depends. Tell me about that, Alex. It depends. Depends, depends how well you know it. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know it, you'd rather have multiple choice. Yes. That, okay, this makes a lot of sense. I like questions that are multiple choice where you tell me what the answer is. For example, how many tweets do you have to create for uh, each video that's on the blog? This is a question that I've got from like three different people in the last two days. Now, when you ask that question, you could say, A, one tweet per blog post, B, one tweet per video, C, none of the above. This is usually the way multiple choice questions are phrased, right? And then, tell me what you think the answer is. This is what's your recommendation. Which of these multiple choice answers do you recommend that I pick? When you reduce your communications to me, when you make them a multiple choice question, you make it so much easier for me to answer your question. Does this make sense? If you give me one of these open-ended questions, uh, let me rephrase uh, as an open-ended question. Uh, what's going on with Twitter and the videos? Well, what the frick kind of a, I mean, now what am I supposed to do? Put down F. It makes the communication much more difficult. You've given me a 12 minute assignment instead of a 12 second assignment. If you can reduce your communications to me, to multiple choice questions in which you tell me what you think the answer is, now I have an option. I can take your answer. I can be like, great, do as you recommend. Or I can just hit favorite on your tweet, in which case I'm like, yes, I agree with you, go with that. Or I can be like, actually, no, I don't like your recommendation, let's choose C instead of B. Or I can say, I don't like any of your answers, we're gonna move forward with this one. 
do you make our communication much more expedient? This puts a burden on you. Now you have to think about how to communicate and you have to think about maybe put five, 10, maybe even 12 more minutes into coming up with these uh, solutions. It makes it a lot easier on me. When you go to work, remember this is a business practices class. When you go to work, you could go to your direct report or your boss, your supervisor, whatever you want to call them, and you could go to this person and you could say, I have a question. And your supervisor might be like, oh, terrific. You know, I'm glad we hired someone who's intellectually curious. But their next thought is gonna be, do you have any answers? Because there are a lot of people in the world I could hire with questions. There's very few people I can hire who bring me solutions, who bring me answers, who bring me recommendations. So the guy uh, who I've told you about already when I was working in construction management, who was very, we'll call it gruff with me and direct, He's the one who told me, you don't come to me with problems anymore. You only come to me with answers, with solutions, with recommendations. You come to me with positive things that you are creating in the world, not negative things that you want other people to fix. And I was like, well, I wish somebody had told me that a long time ago. Because the more I can do my boss's job for my boss, the better evaluation I'm getting from my boss. Does this make sense? and the sooner I'm ready for a promotion. Here's what I'm asking you to do. My job for me. You have a question about the class, don't come to me with the question. Now sometimes, really, there are gonna be questions, I get it. But put your effort into answering the questions. Come up with multiple alternatives. Reduce it to a multiple choice problem for me. Tell me what the answer is. The sooner you're doing my job for me, the sooner you're ready to be promoted. In a metaphorical sense. 